So, Mamir, why did Freya spin in your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. In the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Amir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good. Now put my lips to the horn. That you made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber. He was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is your name. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You envy me. I've still got it, lads. He remembers me. Why you? travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people who first met you? Correct. Except that giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. It's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken and turn sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. 
I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. I don't think we should disturb Yomangandar without some reason. That alchemist was needed finding. So what'd you find out there? Yeah, check back soon. began with Boulder. He just knocked on our door. Boulder of Asgard just knocked on your door? Yeah. He just showed up and started a fight. He said he wanted to know something. He said, I know what you are. <sighs> oh. Well, we'll circle back to that later. What exactly did he want to know? I was on the floor by then. He said I already knew what he wanted. Perhaps he mistook me for another. Yeah. That's quite interesting.
the sons of Thor? Aye, Magni and Modi. Two bigger twits you won't likely find in the halls of Asgard. They'll do anything their uncle puts them up to. They are fools. Well, dangerous fools, to be sure. When they work together, they're formidable. But too often, it's a petty competition. Terribly strong, even as children. I remember the time Grimnir the Brawler fell upon Thor. None of the time, Ed. Alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If you're smart, you'll find it. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. under the bridge, keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. And we'll pick this up later. What? Taken from this realm too early. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulving calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulving whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulving's sather magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Focus up!
her spirit. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out look while we... Look if you we... wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Harimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place, famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Hostiles up ahead. A wolver! Are we doing this? of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Magically sealed, I'm afraid. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Trick lad. Thanks. Good idea.
What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. This is locked up good. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Hostiles. It's Construct Productions. Hey.